wrestling in Japan is uh, is more intense, I would say. Um, because it's, it's way it's, it's more intense. Um, the the fans might not be as vocal as they are in the states or in the UK or in Canada, but they expect more in the sense that they expect you to hit your opponents harder, and they expect they like they think it's like a, a MMA fight. They look at wrestling as MMA. So, with that being said, you have to be more aggressive. Yeah, you see it. Like it was a big show. I, I don't know. Was that Wrestle Kingdom that happened? I don't think it was. No, it wasn't Wrestle Kingdom. It was one of their biggest shows though. And like the, it was so intense that now he he has to retire. He had a brain aneurysm because he had he shot sh shot shoot head, but uh, Okada in the head and almost fucking killed himself. Like so, and and, and his part that was kind of fucking stupid. But I mean, I get it. I understand when you're in the heat of the moment and. Those crowd, the crowd is rallying you on, and you just fucking lose your mind, and bam, like. So I get it, cause I've been there, you know. But um, I feel like you have to be composed in that situation. I just feel like he, in that present situation, he wasn't composed enough to, to hold it down. And I'm a big fan of Shibata. I mean, I mean, I've watched him and I've studied him. I studied him, and I, I, I totally love his work. But I just feel like in that moment, he wasn't composed enough to kind of like, you know, what I'm saying, he kind of like crossed the line a little bit. And it, it, I mean, you see what happened. I mean, I wish it didn't happen, but I mean, it's part of the, it's part of the job, man. It's part of the game.